Today, we are going to use the Lilygo IoT development board as a GPS tracker. On this development board, the ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module, the SIM 7600GH 4G LTE module, and GPS antenna are already wired up for you, so you don't need to do any wiring. Not only this, it also has a holder for the lithium-ion battery, which makes this IoT development board perfect for GPS tracking applications and other IoT-based projects. I have already made a getting started video on this amazing piece of hardware where I explained its technical specifications, onboard components, and lots of other things. In that video, I also practically demonstrated how to control some LEDs and generate feedback messages just to confirm whether that particular load is turned on or turned off. And I also explained how to monitor a sensor by sending a request command through a text message. So if you're just getting started with this IoT development board, then I highly recommend you should watch my previous video because today I won't explain the technical specifications. This is going to be the simplest GPS tracking system and it can be built by anyone throughout the world. This is only possible because of the SIM 7600GH 4G LTE module which works with all the GSM networks throughout the world. The SIM 7600GH is also backward compatible with 3G and 2G networks. The SIM 7600GH module has proven its capability to send and receive text messages flawlessly and this is a statement I can confidently make based on my personal experience. However, I have yet to explore its GPS connectivity which raises several intriguing questions. Is it powerful enough that it can connect to a GPS satellite while it's inside a room or we will have to take it outside like most of the other GPS modules including the Neo 6M GPS module? How accurate is this GPS antenna? Is the accuracy as in feet or meters? If it doesn't pinpoint the exact location, then what's the use of a GPS tracker? So this is what we are going to find out in this video. But first, let's get it fixed on this acrylic sheet. I'm doing it because I don't want the GPS antenna to short with other components. It has been securely mounted on the acrylic sheet and now I can use and move it around without worrying about the GPS antenna making any kind of contact with the onboard components. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. Almost 80% of this code is from the getting started video. This time around I also added the tiny GSM client library. To add this library in the Arduino IDE simply copy the library name then go to the sketch menu then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box. As you can see, I have already installed this library. I defined variables for storing the longitude and latitude values. I also defined a cell number. The longitude and latitude values along with the Google Map URL link will be sent to this number. In the setup function, I activated the GPS. Inside the loop function, we simply check the received text message. If the received text message has the command location, then the ESP32, with the help of SIM 7600GH, sends a Google's Map URL link consisting of the latitude and longitude values. You can download this program from our website electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program, and now let's start the testing. Let's turn on the switch and see how much time it's going to take to connect to the GPS satellites while it's inside this room. It took less than two minutes to connect to the GPS satellites. This is not a standard time. It may vary depending on your location. It may connect within a few seconds or it may take even five to 10 minutes. But in my case, it took less than two minutes, which is great because I have used a bunch of GPS modules which used to take around 10 to 15 minutes. Let's send the location command to request the GPS location. It sent me the Google's map URL link consisting of the latitude and longitude values. Let's open this URL link. Look at the accuracy. This is just mind blowing. It's pointing to the same exact location with around four to six feet accuracy. This is acceptable. I'm really impressed how easy it is to build such an accurate and highly reliable GPS tracking system without even connecting a single wire. You don't have to do anything except uploading the program. 
Next, my brother is going to take this GPS tracker and a car to some random location and then I'm going to track the car location. If it works, then you can make a vehicle tracking system or in fact, you can track almost anything you want. It's been 30 minutes since my brother has gone. Let's send the command and see if we can find the car location. I know this location, let's go and find out if the car is at this location. I just tracked my car location within a few minutes with such a high level of accuracy. So if you guys also want to make such an amazing GPS tracker, then you should definitely try the Lily Gosim 7600 GH IoT development board. In the next episode, we will make a real-time GPS vehicle tracking system using the new Blink V2.0. So consider subscribing if you don't want to miss that video. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.